We are going to talk about chords and melodies and making them in Logic Pro X. A way that I found is rather creative and different. You don't need a MIDI keyboard or anything like that because I have my MIDI keyboard plugged in right here. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use a tool in Logic that's been there for a while and I really just discovered how cool it is to make melodies. So that's what we're talking about today. What's up everybody, this is DDS, and as I mentioned, we're making melodies and chords inside of Logic, and we're gonna stay in scale. When I use Logic, I generally use Scalar to make sure that my, you know, MIDI keyboard is in a certain scale, make sure it's locked in, things of that nature. With this, you will not need a MIDI keyboard. So first things first, I have a piano loaded up from Nexus, real simple. I, uh, you wanna pay attention to this too. I'm in uh, F minor right now, that's one of my favorite scales, 88 BPM just because that's my basic start point so once you have your sound loaded up you just click right here to these scissors and then as you see you have your piano roll i am not going to be using the piano roll i will show you guys something using the piano roll a little bit later but that's not what i'm doing now what you want to do is go to the step sequencer now as you see right here f minor scale is right here so you can go and that's the scale. Now, if you want to change it to something else, hmm, let's go A minor. It will change to A minor. And then you can do it for whatever you want to any scale, but I'm gonna go to D minor for right now just because I like D minor. And from here, what I generally will do is I'll right click right here or at the beginning of whichever section I'm working on and I will go create pattern region. And what that does is that puts it up here because if, if I just start it on its own sometimes, this will start over here versus being over here and things of that nature. So I like to put it there first so things are not off. All you do, play around and just put the notes where you want them on a step sequencer. So as you see right here, simple melody, real simple. You can make it even crazier and add other stuff if you want to. And again, as you see, it's really only one octave. I personally enjoy using more than one octave when I'm doing this because it adds some different type of variation and stuff. Make it, you can make it feel better or I should say sound better. So I'm gonna click right here where it says show slash hide pattern browser. I'm gonna go to templates and I'm just gonna go down to minor. And once I did that, it deleted what I had, but it's okay. I have this here. So now I can try and figure out what I did before. Sorry, I'm gonna use my MIDI keyboard to restart. I'm just so used to clicking the button and just doing it like that. But what I want to show you guys now is a way that you can use this to make the notes last longer. And you just hit the tie, you go to each note that you hit, and then you just make the tie longer. And I'm going to go from note to note with it, and then it's going to play like a chord essentially. And it's real simple. And if you want to know which one you hit, you go like this, tap this, and it shows you that this is, there's no note there. So actually, I'm going to take this one and move it up here since I already did that one. And then I'm going to do the tie right here, and let's see what it sounds like. So now it's not as short and abrupt for an ending. And that's pretty much it like you can do whatever you want to from here so you can make the steps longer like if i hit 32 it'll duplicate what i already have 
and that will allow me to just go ahead and add other things. So like if I just wanted this part to just have this hit like that, which I wouldn't do, but I'm just gonna, for the sake of this video, do it. So it might actually work because it's something different. I actually kind of like that a little bit. Starbucks is always good. <laughs> no sponsorship yet. Okay, so from here, what you can do if you want to edit it using your piano roll is you right click on your little region here and then hit convert to MIDI region. And then right there, it opens up the piano roll. Here's where I tied everything so it's stretched out. And then these are the ones that I added. And of course, you could easily just go like this and then extend them. I hit shift and uh, backslash, I believe. So now, So yeah, that's one way of doing it. And then if you want to uh, go back to the step sequencer, you won't be able to do it from here. At least I don't think you would. You will have to go and make another one right here for a pattern region. So once you get back to that, I'm gonna show you guys how to make chords real quick. It's very simple, the same principle. I am on the same uh, scale. Let me, actually, let me turn this off and put it back to where I had it. I don't know why this one showed up like that instead of showing up in D minor. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we're in D minor where we're supposed to be. And you can make this um, chord, sorry. So go over here. And they have other options, as you see, tons of options for you to play around with in different scales. But I'm just going to go right here. And then I'm going to make a chord, or make chords, I should say. So focusing on this part right here. I want to go down the octave. So for me to go down the octave, I just go right here, drop down the octave. Turn half time off. So for something like chords, I would easily just go like this, hit Command A, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drag it out. Oops, that's that one. I want this one to be highlighted, not the other one. Go like that. Click down here, Command A. It still highlighted all of them? No, it didn't, cool. So I'm gonna extend these, and then there we go. So usually what I'll do right there is change the velocities and humanize it so that way it sounds a little bit different, not too robotic, make it sound like it's played, and then I'll take another layer and then just layer everything on top of that. So I'm gonna go to the step sequencer right here. Actually, I'm gonna do my pattern region. See how it popped up right there. Gotta get that back over here. And I'm not sure why I went back to uh, A. So let me change that again and then try it one more time. And it should work. For whatever reason, I guess I have to click off and then come back over here. So now I'm going to do my melody on top of that. And again, I'm going to go to my patterns. I was going to move it up an octave, but I need to just go ahead and get my other octaves in here first and then focus on moving it up. So now I'm going to move it up an octave. And now I'm just going to throw a melody on top of this.
So yeah, that's just a way that I wanted to show you guys that I randomly stumbled upon when I was doing my drums. And again, you could do this for 808 or anything. And that's really cool to me because it's just a different way of creating. Like sometimes I may not want to use the MIDI keyboard. I do not use my MacBook to make beats because I don't carry around MIDI keyboards and stuff like that anymore. So this will be a great feature to play around with and help you stay in scale. I'm hoping one day they'll do something where and maybe they have it, but I'm not 100% sure, but where you can like block all of these out to be in their own scales. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't studied that part just yet, but I'm having fun with Logic as you can see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you want your Logic to look like this, I'll have a link in the description below. And I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I might end up making a beat out of this. And if I do, maybe I'll share it at the end of the video. Maybe not. Not sure. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day out there, guys. Thank you.